There is, I believe, a discernible shift in the psychology of religion. I think that these changes are going to force the psychology of religion to better account for the substance of religious belief and practice. This provides an unusual opportunity for integrationists to take advantage of this opportunity, I think we're gonna to have to reassess just how we are going to go about doing integration work. And so I propose that we intentionally adopt what I'm going to call experiential integration. By experiential, I mean an understanding of how people actually live their lives psychologically and theologically.